Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another love reading. Um, as always, it's a general love reading, so it cannot resonate for everyone 100%. So, you know, don't try to make it fit <clears throat> if it's not your story. If it does resonate, leave me a comment, let me know, because I'd love to hear from you. But if it does not resonate, then check out my playlist for Sagittarius. You can get to that by clicking on my username here on YouTube, scrolling down and clicking on the playlist. So let's get right into this. Spirits, angels, guys. What messages do you have for Sagittarius regarding love? What's the overall energy for Sagittarius? Overall energy, please, regarding love. Uh, playfulness is the first card out here. One more, please. Overall energy. Or Finances and career, financial issues are a factor. Okay. Um, interesting. I'm getting, um, some of you have met this person at work and it's been, it's a very new energy. Um, for others of you, I feel like this is still a new connection or perhaps a connection that's very fun. Uh, maybe you're with someone that has a really good sense of humor. Uh, maybe it was all fun and games. And then now we have finances and career here as a barrier in some way. Obviously with what's going on, that makes sense. But we'll see what else we got here. I'm still getting for a lot of you, this is very youthful. Maybe this person is younger than you. A lot of flirting. What is the energy surrounding this connection? Overall energy, please. For Sagittarius. For Sagittarius and love. Oh, we have wishing well. Wish, desire, request. Your wish is being granted. I love this card. Okay, what else do we have? What's the energy surrounding this connection? What's coming their way in love? Walking away. <clears throat> You're walking away towards something more fulfilling. This could be you or your person. Can I get one more, please? What's the energy here? For Sagittarius. Secret admirer, intrigue, watchful, attraction. You've caught someone's eye. Bottom of the deck, I have unhealthy attachment. So that's interesting. I feel like someone could be possibly walking away from an unhealthy attachment because they're admiring something in secret or they are attracted or intrigued. Let's see what else we get with the tarot. There's angels guides messages for Sagittarius messages for Sagittarius in love nine of coin right under wishing well interesting independence freedom security attraction someone could be seeing you in this way Sagittarius perhaps you are very independent or uh, doing well financially um, or wanting to be independent and free successful queen of wands reverse and the devil okay there's that unhealthy attachment could be dealing with a capricorn you don't have to be um i feel like someone um, is uh toxic or just not fun to be around right now There could be a situation that someone's walking away from, someone walking away from that toxic situation, which is what I was saying with unhealthy attachment. There could be, you know, this could be anything. This could be somebody that perhaps has been desiring something else. Wow, the Ten of Cups. Beautiful energy. 
definitely someone's wish could be granted here with the Ten of Cups because this is like my happy ending card. This is being emotionally fulfilled, happy, having everything you could dream of and more. Um, there's possibilities here. I feel like someone's walking away towards this Ten of Cups. It's at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Overall energy is the Four of Cups reversed. So this is someone who has renewed interest in something that perhaps they weren't interested in before. Uh, this could be somebody who has changed their mind about something that perhaps they weren't open to, being open to new opportunities. We'll clarify and see. Let's clarify and get some more information. Let me clarify these energies for Sagittarius, please. Some of you, I'm definitely getting, I just, I just keep getting that message of um, like a new beginning or a new, something new, like a new relationship, a new cycle in a relationship. Perhaps, you know, you could have been with this person in the past, but for a lot of you, I feel like this is new. Let's see. Why is this Four of Cups reversed? Why is the Four of Cups reversed? Nine of Swords reversed. So someone's no longer fearful or trapped by their fear. No longer um, feeling weighed down by anxiety or guilt um there's someone overcoming seeing a light at the end of a tunnel what else for four of cups reverse page of wands interesting see how someone's kind of like looking in this picture this woman she's looking at something in the distance usually the page of swords is the card where like someone's watching but i feel like this is someone literally watching and wanting to try something new to take the first steps towards something new now that they have had some sort of change of heart about something this could be communication coming in why is the four of cups reverse can i get one more The lovers reversed Gemini energy. This could be a card about separation, but more than anything, it's a card about making a different choice. So perhaps someone, you know, could have made the wrong choice here regarding a person or a situation. Maybe they are regretting a choice that they've made. Um, maybe there has been a separation that either you are going through or this person's going through. I'm kind of thinking about someone overcoming their fear to end something or to face their mistakes head on. Like uh, maybe they were lying to themselves about a situation or uh, not being completely honest with themselves about a situation. And I feel like that was due to fear. Let's see, why is this nine of coin here? Page of Pentacles reverse. So I feel like this is something to do with uh, finances possibly. Uh, let's tell me more about this nine of coin. Six of swords reverse. Tell me more. Five of Swords, Knight of Pentacles reverse. So I feel like this is where the finances being an issue, it could be career as well, this finances and career card. There is uh, some sort of conflict here, difficulty. Um, I feel like it's keeping someone from moving forward with the Six of Swords reversed. Um, it could be keeping someone from returning to a situation but more than anything I feel like this is regarding someone's freedom and stability it's almost like there is um, a conflict 
in a departure or blocking a departure or blocking someone's progression. Um, maybe this is like a job opportunity that is delayed or um, maybe someone lost a job or is dependent on someone else financially and you know becoming free would require giving up that security take it as it resonates this could be for you or your person tell me about this queen of wands with the devil why is the queen of wands here with the devil Justice reverse, Libra energy. Something is not fair, not balanced. Karma, what else? For the Queen of Wands reverse and the Devil. Nine of Pentacles reverse. So here we go. Um, this, yeah, I feel like someone walking away here towards their own happiness or maybe breaking free of this toxic attachment or unhealthy attachment. Um, I feel like they're stuck there um, or delayed and it feels unfair. This could be a legal situation. It could be that something's just not balanced right now. Can I get one more please? Someone could be upset. This could be a third person or someone involved with the Queen of Wands reverse. They tend to be, um, they crave attention or they're very upset. Um, they could lash out. They could jump into things without thinking of the consequences. Can I get one more for this Queen of Wands reverse with the devil? This could also be a situation at work, at home. That's not good. Yeah, Six of Wands reversed. Bottom of the deck, King of Cups reversed. So this, someone's very um, disappointed at the way that things have turned out or are disappointed at... Um, the fact that they cannot be completely free of something. Um, maybe, you know, this doesn't mean that it's never going to happen, but perhaps there's a lot of challenges or a lot of conflict, fighting, um, uh, someone sabotaging. Um, maybe this is just a journey that someone has to go on. Um, you know, something that's not so simple to, to do. And, you know, I always talk about on my channel, like I'm not here to sell you on a fairy tale or a positive spin on a situation. Most of us, um, life is just not a cartoon. It's not a Disney movie. It's not super simple and easy. If it was, then we would never struggle. We would never have, we would never make mistakes or learn from mistakes or, or have life be this journey, right? Like it would just be super simple and, you know, easily fixed and, there would be no issues, no problems, right? Like that would be awesome, but that's not real life. You know, there are obstacles, there are challenges. Fear does get in the way. Um, someone could be intent on completely having a happy ending, but if they don't go through the journey, if they um, let fear get in the way or they don't make certain decisions, then that, that just is not gonna happen on its own, right? So let's see, what's this 10 of cups about? Why is the Ten of Cups here? You know, how many times do we know what the right decision is, but we don't actually take it? Two of Swords. Why is this Ten of Cups here? Ace of Swords reverse. Okay, yeah. You see what I'm seeing here? Especially in this deck. Um, the Two of Swords in this deck is like two people going at it, like about to have a fight, like a duel. <laughs> And then I have the Ace of Swords reversed. Um, so this is like deception or um, lack of clarity. This could be conflict, a verbal conflict. Um, so I think it's very interesting. This could be that there's a decision. Uh, someone's undecided because they don't have clarity. They don't have all of the information or perhaps they're not ready to be honest and make that tough decision. Um, perhaps someone has made a difficult decision or is trying to make a difficult choice, excuse me, but there is conflict. Let's see. Let's, let's look at these separate. Tell me about the Ace of Swords reversed. What is this Ace of Swords reversed about? The Fool reversed. So being reckless, taking a huge risk, um, 
being delayed from a new beginning. Bottom of the deck, I have the Ten of Cups again. So I feel like someone, um, perhaps they need to have clarity or communication needs to take place that hasn't taken place. Perhaps someone hasn't been really honest with themselves. Again, it could be different for all of you, but it's almost like it's blocking someone's from a new beginning, from ultimate, ultimate happiness. Can you tell me about this Two of Swords? Why is it Two of Swords? Eight of Swords. There's the fear. There's the fear. Someone feeling stuck in a situation, um, perhaps overthinking, letting their mind kind of literally and and then this in this particular deck the eight of swords is like a child being sick um so this could be somebody that is not doing well um maybe their mental health is suffering because of the conflict or the decision that they have to make tell me more about this two of swords let me get one more please for this two of swords Three of Swords Reverse. Yes, this is about an interference. This is about an interference. And I have the Moon Reversed at the bottom of the deck, Pisces Energy. So this is a revelation, um, an illusion being seen clearly. Uh, this is um, this is someone speaking up, a secret coming to light. So I feel like, you know, what I'm getting here is I'm getting two very different stories um, there's two possibilities that I'm seeing. Um, the first possibility is that you have a secret admirer or you are secretly admiring someone else, but your fear is getting in the way of this new beginning. It's like, there's no communication. Look at all these swords, three of swords, eight of swords, two of swords, and the ace of swords. You know, there's not, there's no clarity, no communication, no opening up, no, um, no breakthrough here. Um, I feel like this is an interference, um, and it's going to be different for all of you. Like I said, what the sphere is regarding for the other group of people is I feel someone is scared to make the decision to have a new beginning, to have a new cycle, and perhaps they are not being honest with themselves about what truly is the right thing to do or makes them happy. Perhaps this is someone that's worried about family or children or money, um, and I feel like there's there's an illusion that, you know, needs to be like seen clearly or dealt with, you know, and I, I don't think that they're doing that. Um, I think that's why the overall energy here is someone needing to overcome their fear in order to make a different decision with the lovers reverse and the page of wands. They know what they want with the page of wands. It's just, are you going to do what it takes to get it right? Let me know if that's resonating um, for you in the comments, but let's see what are the challenges or the blocks here. Let's see what we get. What are the challenges or the blocks here for Sagittarius? What's challenging or blocking this connection? Ten of Swords, the end of a cycle, a painful ending, betrayal. What's blocking this connection? Challenging or blocking this connection? The world. Yeah, this is all about someone needing to end a cycle and begin a new one. This is like challenged or blocked. Why is the Ten of Swords and the world blocked? Why are they challenged or blocked to this connection? Three of Swords. Yeah, that's, again, it's the same situation. Um, swords. Three of Swords. This could be maybe someone's dealing with heartbreak or someone is feared, fearful of hurting someone else. I have the Ace of Coin reversed. There could be financial worries here. Someone thinking of the loss that they would experience, the pain of ending a situation because that's the Ten of Swords. So that tells me whatever cycle needs to end, it will be a painful one. It would not be an easy ending for someone, whether that's you or this person. And so that's the block to this connection is overcoming the fear of hurting yourself or hurting others is what I'm thinking. Um, the fear of verbal conflict, of hurting someone, you know, and that's a very powerful thing to, to fear. So let's see, what advice does Spirit have for you? So let's wrap this up with some advice. Tell me more, Spirit. 
What advice do you have for Sagittarius? What advice do you have for Sagittarius? Trust your intuition. First card out. Anything else for Sagittarius? Any messages or guidance for them? Act now. And bottom of the deck, I have take a risk. Yep. I feel like this could be for your person, this message. Um, but I feel like it could also be for you if you're the one that needs to make this difficult decision. Excuse me. So I feel like someone, it, someone's intuition is speaking to them because that moon is reversed or came out reversed. So it's almost like, you know, whatever was hidden, it, it's going to be seen clearly. There is going to be some sort of revelation, right? Someone's going to have some sort of clarity about what has been hidden or what has been an illusion all this time. I feel like that's their intuition speaking to them. But, you know, that is going to require an action, right? A risk. Um, thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy my readings and you want to see more. Uh, don't forget to leave me a comment if this resonated for you or you just want to say hi. And I'll see you all in another video. Take care.